Good morning. I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research. I'm Andy Myers, and this is your Morning Market Alert for Monday, November 21st. It looks like stocks on Wall Street will follow the European market sharply lower this morning, as concerns about debt problems grip investors on both sides of the Atlantic. According to multiple media reports, U.S. lawmakers will announce that the so-called Super Committee has failed to reach an agreement to cut $1.2 trillion from the federal deficit over the next 10 years. If the 12 members of, this, of the committee miss Wednesday's deadline, as expected, it will trigger automatic spending cuts to military and domestic programs, including $600 billion from the Pentagon's budget. And when they return from their Thanksgiving recess, members of Congress will have to decide whether to extend a payroll tax cut and jobless benefits, which are scheduled to expire at the end of the year. Fear is also growing about the spread of the European debt crisis and leaders' seeming inability to bring it under control. Interest rates are still extremely high in Italy and Spain, despite a sweeping victory by Spain's conservative opposition party in elections over the weekend. And now, even AAA-rated countries in the Eurozone's core are coming under pressure. Moody's Investor Service warned that rising government borrowing costs and an uncertain economic outlook pose a threat for France's credit rating. Following that warning, the CAC courant in Paris is tumbling nearly 3 percent, as is Frankfurt's DAX index. And the euro is slumping against most major currencies, falling below the 135 mark against the U.S. dollar. Concerns about the global economic outlook are also coming from China this morning. According to the state-run Xinhua News Agency, the country's vice premier warned that the world is likely to experience a long economic recession. Wang Qishan urged global leaders to make economic recovery their top priority, and he also called on the United States to ease restrictions on exports of advanced technologies to China. With all this uncertainty in the marketplace, investors are backing away from assets viewed as relatively risky. That's weighing on equities around the world, but it's also hurting most commodities. Crude oil continues to decline, now down below $97 a barrel. And even gold, which is normally considered a safe haven investment, is dropping back near $1,700 an ounce. But one asset that's maintaining its safe haven status is U.S. Treasuries. The yield on the benchmark 10-year note is falling well below 2%. A look at October existing home sales highlights this morning's earnings calendar. That report is due out at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Investors will also have earnings from Tyson Foods to digest. And after the closing bell, we'll get quarterly, quarterly results from Hewlett Packard and Analog Devices. And on the M&A front, we have a big deal in the pharmaceutical industry. Gilead Sciences is buying Farm Asset, which makes oral therapies for treating hepatitis C. The price tag is $11 billion, or $137 a share, almost double farm assets closing price on Friday. Its shares are jumping nearly 90% on the news, and Gilead is losing about 6% in the pre-market. That's the latest from Weiss Research. We'll be back after the opening bell with all the market reaction.